right, everybody, what is going on? Needs more drums back in City Skylines. It has been a long time. Apologies for the lack of uploads. Life has been busy as per usual. Uh, you know, got a lot going on um, outside of YouTube. Got a gigs with the band, went on a vacation for a week. So all of those make it very difficult, uh, you know, to record and upload videos. So apologies for, uh, for the lack of uploads. But um, we're back. It feels great to be back at City Skylines. We had a new update come out not too long ago. So we got some of that in the city already. I've kind of been doing a little building off camera, as you could see. I mean, first of all, let's just kind of, before we get into the episode, let's just kind of take a look at some of the things that, that we've been working on. Uh, so I built a downtown, finally, a nice skyline using some of the Skyscrapers DLC uh, buildings. And these things are awesome. If you don't have that pack yet, I would highly recommend you download it. It just takes your skylines to the next level, you know, uh, pun intended. But um, yeah, I mean, even this building is super cool. I've managed to fit it right in between these two uh, these two highways here, you know, right as the entrance to the city. So I think that looks pretty awesome and I'm really happy with that. And yeah, there's just, uh, you know, had a whole pedestrian area built here. Uh, got some, you know, residential development going on over here. Just, just pretty quick to build, but you know, just trying to kind of build up the city and get a little more population and everything. So nothing super detailed, but nonetheless, uh, very efficient and, um, you know, really fills the space. And also, so as I mentioned, you know, we got the new, uh, Industrial Revolution content creator pack as well that is on the uh, store page for City Skylines and it comes with you know these different kinds of buildings. It seems like the older buildings they start off older and then and as they level up they get a little more modern. So you can see these are kind of like level ones. Maybe these here might be like some level twos. But if you go over here by the uh, where are we at by the airport that we built in the last episode, these are some of the higher level level three in. Uh, industrial buildings you know these these modern warehouses and stuff kind of more like distribution center looking things so yes yeah, so what i want to do with this uh with this episode and actually with with the rest of the episodes in the series is kind of make this you know not not so much of a of a build series as you already kind of know the city is already kind of built but just kind of making this more about taking advantage of all of the transport options that the game gives us and more particularly why like when and why we're going to use certain kinds of public transport and you know what the purpose of those is and kind of you know go into a little bit more detail rather than um you know just kind of building for aesthetics I, I like to build for realism so this is kind of a a little consider this maybe a little tutorial series in a way of kind of how to best use some sort of some of the different forms of public transit and if i'm using anything you know super wrong feel free to let me know in the comments but this is just kind of what i think works best for my city and you know making things kind of realistic and functional from uh, my point of view so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the episode today which is going to be boats and cruise ships because that's something that you know a lot of people uh i feel you know you kind of everybody builds a port which is important but i always like to kind of emphasize that they really are important in the city you know having a point of entry for mass quantities of goods really really makes your city realistic and especially when you have you know an airport like this i was thinking about building the port this was the original area and i kind of laid out this train line here thinking that the port was going to come in here and they would have a, have a railroad connection you know and it would kind of link back up to this train line but after thinking about it a little bit i don't think this is the best area and let me tell you why because you know we had this I, I built this little university here but i anticipate that this is going to need a lot more room so instead of just kind of leaving this here by itself and then no, nobody at this university, you know, if you're living in the storm, you look over this, you're living right next to this big industrial area. I think we're going to get rid of all of this and may maybe keep this, uh, keep this factory here. Cause this isn't really like a big polluter. I don't think, but, um, and oh my gosh, look at this traffic. It's just got awful. We'll, we're going to deal with that. Hopefully some of the public transit that we build will uh, help relieve some of this, but we'll see about that later. But, um, yeah, so I think, I think what I'm going to do here is actually think about Maybe putting the uh, the cruise ship terminal over here instead of the uh, the industrial like cargo port. I was gonna put the cruise ship a little bit over here, but I think I'm gonna leave this open for kind of like our central station and maybe like a ferry hub as well, so that you know we can get some people to these different islands and everything. And yeah, we're, we're gonna leave that area for now. But I think so. So this is gonna be probably our cruise ship area, and I'm gonna get rid of some of this industry and kind of build this up to maybe more 
uh, commercial or you know put some kind of tourist attraction here so that when people come in the city they'll have something to do rather than just get on a train and get away from all this industry because that's typically what what you do when you have a cruise ship um but and then here i want to actually build the industrial port because we have a little bit of empty space for some development i don't really have any specialized industry yet and i don't know if i'm going to build any in the city but if i do then we'll convert you know right now i'm just kind of probably going to zone some uh some regular industry here some generic industry and then once we get uh, if we do get specialized industry, I'll kind of replace it with some of the uh, storage buildings and everything for that. But for now, it's going to do just fine as a regular port with some regular industry supporting it. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get started first with the cruise ship port because I kind of have a good idea of what I want to do. And I want to leave a little bit of space for, you know, like a potentially a train station, which is probably going to be maybe the next episode. If not, you know, it's coming up pretty quick because that's a uh, form of transit that we desperately desperately need but yeah so for now let's go ahead and start building this cruise ship port and what i like oh this is a ferry terminal yeah so i think there's a cruise ship port that's it the harbor yes and actually i think you know what before we do this let's take a look at some of these public transport hubs i always forget that i downloaded these if you look at some ship hubs i think there's actually some pretty pretty good ones and i think we can make a good use of some of these and i'm I'm tempted to use this Harbor Ferry Hub just because I would like to put a ferry terminal here. And I think this would be a cool way to get people from this area here to the downtown. You know, you could probably take a ferry under the bridge, go right along this coast, and then you're in the downtown where we'll have another ferry terminal that probably connects up to some other things. So yeah, let's, let's do that for now. Put this down right here. I know it's at a little bit of an angle, so I kind of got to clean this up. Thank goodness for move it. And also shout out to the uh, to all of the modders in the after the the most recent update. I mean, this I think I was able to open the save game before my vacation, and it was actually the same day that the update came out. I was able to open it and have no issues. Just by the end of the day, all of the mods were updated, which is amazing. And just yeah, lo lots of credit. You know, credit where uh, credit is due. Those guys are exceptional at keeping everything updated. So, props to that. But yeah, I think uh, so. We're gonna leave this here, and then we're gonna go and venture over here and put down our our uh, cargo terminals. And I was originally hoping that I would be able to get maybe one of the one of the rail cargo hubs, but honestly, I'm not really sure that I want to do that anymore just because we have this this big rail station here and I might put if anything maybe I'll put a rail cargo station somewhere over here but in terms of actually I think it would make sense to connect this up somehow to a to a rail station but yeah I'm just not sure if it'll uh, if it'll really fit right here for now and with the way that that this um that this thing is kind of laid out it's sort of you know the road being on the left side and the tracks being on the right side i'd kind of have to do some weird bridge thing kind of against over over the harbor and i really don't want to do that so i think i'm just going to put down uh probably for aesthetic sake probably like two of these because i usually like to have more than one and um yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go from go from there so let's let's just see how this looks then we'll kind of i know i can't connect here but i think i'm gonna just kind of move it over with move it and call it a day <laughs> because that's what we do when you uh when things don't fit so we're just gonna do this and there we go we got our first port and then i'm actually gonna go ahead and put down another one close by and who knows maybe we'll even do a third one but <laughs> i think this is actually fine for now and i can i just want to kind of figure out something to put in here since it's kind of weird having this big gap of water but then again you, you never know maybe there there's a reason for that maybe you know they could park some kind of boats in here, some kind of, you know, service some kind of dock. We'll leave that for now. Let's connect with these roads here, like this. Beautiful. All right, and I think that's okay for now. And so, now what I want to do is after I drag out some, uh, some water pipes here, because we definitely need those. I would like to just kind of jump in a time lapse 
in a minute and just uh, start detailing this up a little bit. But before we do that, I want to section off all of this as with with some uh, some keys here, just because this is going to be a very you know heavily developed area, and so obviously we're going to need something like this to keep everything uh, looking looking nice. Yeah, I don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and delete that. And I'm actually just going to use move it once again. Just kind of drag this out. And then I'll hide it under this under this highway. And so the, the big question of, you know, why do we need this type of transit? And, you know, what, what purpose does it serve for our city? Well, as you know, obviously, which is the main point is that this cargo port will be a huge hub for bringing in all of our goods outside of the city. So, you know, there's mass quantities of goods. Uh, obviously, we do have rail and we have air, but this is just another way to kind of distribute that, um, you know, flow of goods and, and to kind of ease some of the uh, some of the burden from these other forms of uh, importing and everything. So that's going to be really good that we have this now. And I know it's a little bit far from, you know, we, the boats are going to have to come all the way through here to get to the port. But I didn't really want to put it, you know, by the downtown because that would one it wouldn't look good and two it would create it, these create a lot of traffic and so having you know something so so busy and just you know kind of industrious and typically the, these ports are surrounded by more industry so th there's obviously no room to put any kind of industry super super close to the city i know we have a little bit right here but that's probably going to get removed too i'm trying to i'm trying to push it out like as best as possible so that'll be that that'll be better to have it over here and kind of out of the way even though it's right by this uh, <laughs> This little eco suburb, you know, these people in this in this tower are probably not going to be very happy living right next to the uh, to the big industrial zone. But you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> we're doing we're doing what we can. So yeah, so I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave this here, and I think uh, I'll you know develop it a little bit in a second. But yeah, and then for, in terms of the, of these cruise ships, you know, this is a great way to get a bunch of tourists in your city, and also just you figure people are probably. You know, if this uh, this is just some kind of island, I mean, you figure that people are probably traveling. And so it's a great way for people to get out uh, in and out of your city besides having to fly so and or take like a long distance train. Again, just another means of transport for your city. And it doesn't doesn't really do much. You know, neither of these do much internally as, you know, as a way to get around the city, which is kind of what we desperately need, given the uh, state of our traffic. But I think these help, you know, kind of grow your city and allows people to come in and it helps support the larger scale infrastructure that's needed in a city of this size even though you only got you know 30,000 people but in city skylines terms that's it's pretty pretty substantial um you know as soon as you start having like high density and stuff it gets uh it, it, it becomes important you know from a realism perspective you would think that you would have these these bigger forms of infrastructure and bigger you know have the capacity to import and export large quantities of goods and uh transport large quantities of people so yeah this is a we're, we're well on our way to the uh the smaller forms of public transport but this is this is a good place to start so with all of that being said i am going to go and do a little time lapse detail some of this up and then i will talk to you guys in a minute enjoy
All right, guys, and I would say that this is pretty much a good stopping point for today. So we have built this nice little harbor ferry hub where we got our cruise ship that'll be coming in. We've got some parking for people to, you know, leave their cars. If they got to go for an extended period of time, they can leave their cars there. Uh, this I might say for a little train station or some other kind of transit uh, station. And, you know, this area too, we can even put something here. Like if I bring the metro out here or something like that, which I don't think I will, but, you know, just in case a little bus terminal or something can go there. But, and then over here we have a not super pretty, but uh, hopefully efficient and functional industrial area. Try to make a little container yard here. Just take up some of that space. And I know it doesn't look the best, but you know what? Just, you know, making use with the vanilla assets. And again, just the point of the city is just gonna have fun with some of the different forms of public transit. So I know both of these work. I have seen some ships coming in. I actually had to raise up this bridge pretty high and I'm thinking about making it, making this bridge something different other than this does compared to this design because doesn't look super good in my opinion here but you know what we'll uh we'll <laughs> another pun intended we'll cross that bridge when we get there so maybe i'll do that uh, off camera and this one's probably got to be raised up too actually so might be even something like this but we'll see as you can see this the city is got some issues going on here got some uh got some illness because of this highway this highway super congested um got some death wave going on over here sadly uh oh well and um, I know that my power situation is not great, so I got to build another power plant. But yeah, in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I hope you enjoyed the episode. And so stick around. This will be a short little series. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will stick around for the next few episodes or the whole series, hopefully. And if you uh, like the series, please feel free to leave a like and comment with any ideas you may have or whatever form of public transport you would like to see next or what you think makes the most sense. I have an idea of what I want to do, but always love to hear from you guys. Um, you know, if you guys have any suggestions, please, uh, please feel free to comment. But yeah. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace.